What's up Explorers? I'm Jeff from the Cloud Explorers. Welcome back to Microsoft AI Advent Calendar, the Winter Party Exploration Series. Woohoo! It's time for episode 13. And we're gonna unbox box 13. Drum roll. Ta-da! Today we're gonna continue with Use Your Data. Um, however, we're gonna focus, unlike on episode 12, on the URL slash web address version um, of this uh, functionality. So, like in uh, quickly as a recap from day 12, um, why do we do this? It improves the quality of the conversations, makes it more powerful. You can talk specifically in at least episode 12 about your files, and in this case, we can chat with the chatbot against specifically about the website in question. So Azure OpenAI Studio provides an option to um, upload your own files, as you can see based on the documentation. Again, similar to the previous day, not gonna cover it too much. Same setup, same documentation. And instead of uploading files, we're gonna crawl a website. Without further ado, let's just jump in. I have a chat uh, playground already open with the uh, add your data uh, feature open. So um, before we get ahead in, let's give it some questions as a reference. So what I want to do is I want to crawl my own devjeff.nl uh, website. So let's simply ask it. No, that was a bit too much. So what is the latest blog post on devjeff.nl? Well, it can't access real-time information. So let's give it another go. Who's the writer? And here it <laughs> becomes very interesting because it's now just uh, giving unreal information. So it's uh, going a little bit of crazy. And let's see if, he, if it knows who is devjeff. So couldn't find any specific information. This is an interesting one. So here it, it went a little bit crazy and uh, tried to create information that doesn't exist. So this is a good example uh, to what's always mentioned about um, uh, AI chats. They always verify some information is simply untrue um, because of the amount of connections that are being made. It sometimes uh, becomes a little bit crazy and gives you information or relations that simply don't exist. So always verify. <laughs> so let's go in uh, and add a data source. We're gonna go for the URL web address version. Uh, same thing as in episode 12, we need some infrastructure in place. We're gonna use the same infrastructure that we used before. If you haven't tuned in into episode 12, very quick recap, in the day 12, and link is gonna be down below this chat, uh, this video, um, I explained that a, I created a search service in a storage account um, by zip code, added it to the controller as modules, so you can go ahead and create it. You don't have to go in and create this infrastructure yourself, <laughs> simply use these bicep files. So it will save you a lot of time. Let's select it as it's already deployed. Our search, a uh, blob storage, the website we want to use as a location. A name for the index. Again, no um, vector search, as we're not having any embeddings. Acknowledge, go next, select the search type, keyword, then we get a summary, and save and close. So what will happen now is it will uh, do some pre-processing and uh, start an index. So basically, we'll try to crawl the website. Let's not wait for this, as previous time, it took quite some time to finish this and it really depends on the size of the website. I already have this set up 
in another tab, exactly the same. Oh, there it goes, it's actually pre-processing the files. Let's see if this goes fast, maybe we can stay here. Something to mention, I'm using the model that we deployed earlier in one of the previous episodes, which is the GPT-35 Turbo 1106 version. Ah, there it is. So pre-processing complete. Uh, it got 17 out of 17 files. Um, and next, it should start indexing. Ah, there we go. I'm sure we can wait for this. Let's see how fast it is. Um, wow. And that's it. Advanced settings, same setup. So let's go ahead and ask it the same questions we just did. Extension chat completions must have at least one extension. Oh God, not that bug again. <laughs> so this is an existing bug actually plaguing right now. Sometimes this happens with add your own data. So even though we have this setup, which is gonna uh, for, for, uh, just set, uh, even if we just set this up, let's just go back to a working version or at least this version should work as well. Again, the same deployment, same setup, slightly different named index. Let's see if we can give it the same. Yeah, there we go. What is the latest blog post on devjeff.nl? Well, now, uh, in uh, versus the original uh, question, it actually provides me uh, information. And it's actually correct information because if we go to devjeff.nl, it is the PowerShell prowess, the three commands you need to know. So. And the two references, again, not very pretty references. Uh, same thing here. I don't see the difference to be honest, but okay. Let's ask the next question. Who is the writer of devjeff.nl? It's Jeff Suhoi, amazing. And three references where it picks up. Uh, let's ask one more. Let's see if it knows. Who it is? Well, Jeff Ryder, uh, the writer Jeff Suho is a cloud consultant specializing in architecture, automation, and security. Uh, this is very nice. Let's go ahead and do one more. What topics are co covered? Well, that's also quite nice. Microsoft Azure, Azure DevOps, Cloud Adoption Framework, Well Architected Framework. Uh, Cloud Center of Excellence, PowerShell, GitHub Cloud Security. This is relatively accurate to the blog post. So if we would go to tags, uh, we can actually see some of the topics here and the same thing goes for categories. So this one is still broken, I think. We can give it one more try. But I think this is still the internal bug yeah that's the internal bug plaguing the system which um hopefully will be resolved soon um yeah and that's pretty much it with regards to crawling a url web address uh, and using it as your data to chat about uh, if you want to see more on microsoft ai check out the previous episodes um, make sure to subscribe not to miss the next one uh, if you liked the video, thumbs up. If you didn't, download the shit out of it. Then at least I would know what you think about it. Thanks for watching and until next time. Bye.